We consider the following sequence Z0, Z1, Z2, Z3 and so on defined recursively in the following way. We have some constant C uh, and the nth element of this sequence is defined by the square of the previous element plus this constant C. And when I say that this, const this is a constant, it's constant with respect to n. So this does not depend on n. The first um, element in this sequence is just defined as 0. Let's just take an example. If c is equal to 0, what do we get then? We start with this set 0 and by this rule we have that um, the first element is the previous element which is um, okay it's not the first but the second element is the first element square plus the constant c which is zero so we have zero, zero square plus zero and this is zero and um, using the rule once more that the third element set two is equal to the previous uh, element square plus c we obtain that this is zero square plus uh, zero equal to zero so every element in this sequence is now equal to zero and in particular we note that the absolute value which is gonna be uh, important later on uh, turns out to be less than less or equal to two for all n of course because it's zero uh, let's consider another example where c is equal to one we start with the first element uh, set zero equal to zero uh, the second element set one is the first element square plus c which is one so we have zero plus one is one Okay, then we just insert this element and square this element and plus this C1 to obtain the third element, Z2, which is 2. And in order to get Z3, we just use this number 2. Uh, we take the square of 2 plus C, which is 1, and then we obtain 5. So continuing in this way we obtain that set 4 is equal to uh, 26. In particular we obtain that um, the absolute value of set n converges to infinity as n goes to infinity. So let's see if we have this constant c equal to minus 2 what's happening then uh, then we get set 0 equal to 0 which is in all cases set 1 is 0 plus minus 2 we, and we obtain that this is equal to minus 2 working similarly recursively we obtain that set 2 is equal to 2 uh, set 3 is equal to 2 set 4 is equal to 2 and so on. So uh, we obtain that set n is equal to 2 for any value n larger or equal to 2. It's only mm, the case when n is equal to 1 that we obtain something which is different from 2. In particular we obtain that the absolute value of uh, set n is less than 2 for all n. Uh, now we are going to define the Mandelbrot set. It contains all complex numbers C such that the absolute value of set N is less than or equal to 2 for all N. And where set N is defined recursively uh, by the formula star defined above. So this is the basis uh, recursive formula for, the, the, for defining the Mandelbrot set. Uh, 